Ladies and gentlemen, I'll be presenting on use of digital media in the prevention and control of COVID-19, the Sri Lankan experience. So digital media is any form of media that uses electronic devices for the distribution of content. The use of digital media increased globally and locally during the COVID-19 pandemic and therefore provided an ideal opportunity for health communication through digital media platforms. Therefore, the Ministry of Health developed a social marketing campaign, a 360 degree campaign, where digital uh, media was one of the most important uh, components of it. A six week campaign was developed through expert consultation using multiple platforms. This included the most frequently used and most popular platforms such as Facebook, YouTube, WhatsApp, and other popular websites, mainly targeting the news websites, which has high traffic. Creative content was specifically developed in the form of static posts and animation videos for Facebook, direct messages for WhatsApp, then display advertisements or banner advertisements uh, for other popular websites, then also roadblocks, and that means hardcore embedded advertisements were also developed for popular news websites. Also, we engaged influencers in the process and developed videos through influencers as well. Content was created in all three languages and commercials which were developed for the above the line targeted campaign that is for television was also used for Facebook and YouTube content. The most important feature of this campaign was that it was a dynamic campaign where the feedback received for the initial post in the form of comments guided new content creation. So this provided a two-way communication where we engaged with the participants or people who used our digital platforms and communicated with us or shared their feelings and those guided our new content creation. Moving on to the results, you can see uh, the impressions that we have achieved over different platforms. So impressions are the number of times that the content is displayed. So on Facebook, we had impressions of 26 million. On YouTube, our main target was to air the commercial that was developed for television. So we had a reach of, uh, we had impressions of 2 million. Google Display Networks uh, had an impression that is through banner advertisements of 19 million and direct placements on the major news networks in Sri Lanka, such as Hiru, Derana, and uh, Sirasa had 27 million impressions. Banner ads through other platforms had 10 million reach. If I go into further details of this, if you look at the Facebook campaign, we had three types of uh, campaigns that were developed within the overall campaign, a reach campaign, a campaign targeting video views and campaign targeting engagements. While our overall impression was 26 million, we had a reach close to 6 million. Reach is the total number of people who are seeing your content. That is unique number of persons that see the content. So we managed to achieve a figure of close to 6 million and there was engagement of 3 million. Engagement means people who interact with your post in the form of likes, in the form of reactions or shares or comments or even in uh, sending direct messages. Direct placements in popular websites through hardcore advertisements and banners had 27 million impressions while the engagement was close to 3 million. In WhatsApp messages where video push notifications and banners were sent, we managed to reach 500,000. So therefore, this enhanced use of digital media, especially during the COVID-19 pandemic, provides an ideal opportunity for us to use it for health communication. And this can be done at a much lower cost compared to the traditional above the line media methods that is your television, radio and press. We only use 20% of the overall budget of the campaign for digital media. However, it has to be further studied how different target groups which are at higher risk engage with these uh, activities on digital media. Thank you.